this is our high street in street, which is the, where is my difficulties. Where do you live in street? Where do you live in street? And people say, keep asking the question, where, where do you live? This is our street. My hometown is called Aksaray, which is the, about 200 miles away from the capital, Ankara. And it's, it's small, uh, I wouldn't say big city, it's small. We haven't had any university, we haven't had nothing special. We had uh, about 80,000 people were living in the area, but it's small. And as in uh, living there, so we had uh, our basics, like we had, you know, li continue daily living, but nothing fancy or nothing extra. I haven't had my own car. I haven't had my own flat or anything. Just living with the family and supporting all each other. Because in Turkey, like, um, family is most important. They all, we all lived in the same house and we all look after each other. I went to study uni in the next bigger city, which is my dream was to you know, experience bigger city and living on my own, and which is why I did. And then after the uni, all the exam, you know, big long run exam situation, same as here. And I studied business management and accountancy in bigger city, it's called Izmir, which is the it's university called 9th of September, university is called 9th of September. And uh, 9th of September is, in my life is quite important because like the day I arrived in the UK, 9th of September 1996. After the unit, then how I decided to come over to study English, then later on I ended up working here, which is the it's been 9th September since 9th September 96 and nearly 13 years. I couldn't afford the college, then end up working part times in one of the takeaway or restaurant I'm using because there was a Turkish restaurant there in Salisbury. Then I was using that restaurant as a, my lunch or my dinner. Then later on they asked, we were game friendly, and they asked me to, can I do Saturdays, like weekends. Then I ended up be partner with the, my, one of my friends in uh, Salisbury and on business and partner. Then worked towards my way and ended up buying that shop, then my own shop. Then later on I opened, um, about seven other outlets, takeaway outlets in the southwest region. And we come to our my one of my first shop in the, in Somer Somerton, Somerset, which is at that kebab house in here. That's my shop. That's my main shop. And uh, 15th of August 1999, I took over that place. Now it's down to. Uh, three shops, two uh, takeaway, nighttime trade, and one is a, like this cafe, which is a daytime trade. I'm glad I stay in this area, not to left this area, which is like Street and Glastonbury, just two ta two small village to me and neighbors to each other, and the people who live in there completely different, completely different lifestyle, dress up different eat different, like Glastonbury is more vegetarian people there and more uh, healing people there. And when I first moved in the street, when I met my wife came into UK in 2002 and it was in Glastonbury and she wears a hijab and uh, she was, she didn't have any problem in uh, living in Glastonbury as in a dress up different because like in Glastonbury everyone dress up different. I'm also a parish councillor in the street where I live, and also uh, chairman of Turkish community and father of two children. Come on in, that's our home. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's my wife Ayşe, and that's a uh, tired Azra. <laughs> Come on in please. When I first started, when I first uh, became a parish councillor, I couldn't forget that day. I opened the door, as you know, is everyone quiet, then everyone has turned that way to looking, who's he? Then, 
like some of the people obviously know, but some of the people they didn't know I was uh, elected and then become a parish councillor. And they look at me and says, that, like, I can feel it. Oh dear, <laughs> what can I do now? Then when I just like I said, I, um, I shook uh, my head and then says, you know, the hi to everyone and walk around and then sit like third person on the chairman. That was one of my prime moments in the, when I became a parish councillor, which is I was, I feel um, privileged, if it's the right word, like, you know, I feel, you know, important, because I was the outsider, I was the, you know, simple as that, the foreigner, became a parish councillor and making decision in that area, which is the, it was, to me, it was, very good feeling. What we have, we have um, both language now. So we, in the home, we mainly speak Turkish and <clears throat> watch Turkish TV. And in school, when she was in school and she was learning English, so we prefer to, like, I would recommend everyone to like, speak their own language in the house. Then they can pick up their um, culture what we're trying to do, like we live our life in, Tur in Turkish life, way of life in our house. But uh, when it's go to school and when we're with the public, we try to get their rules and follow their way of their life. I try to go other places, but uh, I end up coming back here. It's something magnets, it just keeps me bringing back here. And then after my baby girl born, and then I decided to established family here and their education here because we got uh, quite good schools here and community is good and as in, a, as in being a Turkish origin and being foreign in this area and I feel not threatened, you know, I feel like a home, I feel like they accept me in this area and then I just prefer to do, live here.